G'day guys, here's a quick lesson that'll really help you develop your ears. Now you've probably heard the best pro sax players talk about learning a melody or a lick in every key. But that's really, really difficult to do if you've never done it before. Well, that is unless you know how to do it. All this month inside Sax School, our members have been working on a transposing challenge. And the kind of transposing I'm talking about here is where we take a melody and we move it into a new key. So just then I played Happy Birthday in the key of C, and then I moved up into the key of C sharp. Now I bet if I asked you to play Happy Birthday in the key of C sharp, you'd probably find that a bit tricky, right? Well, don't worry, in this lesson, you're gonna work out how that is much easier than you think. So I wanna show you two techniques that you can use to do this transposing pretty easily, actually. But first, let's talk about why it's important. <laughs> So when we learn a melody in multiple keys using our ears, we do a couple of really important things. Firstly, we really strengthen our knowledge of that melody. You'll know a melody inside and out once you go through this exercise. And the second thing is we're building a very strong link between our ears and our fingers. And really what I'm talking about here is that ability to hear a melody and play it straight away on your saxophone. Now this is such an important technique and it's essential for any style of playing, but definitely if you're doing any type of improvising. Okay, the first technique I wanna show you is the chromatic method. Now this is dead simple because all we do is we take the melody and then we shift every single note up a half step or a semitone. So I started in the key of C major and you can see the notes here. So if I take all the notes from that first key, G, G, A, G, C, B, and I move them up a half step or a semitone, I get G sharp, G sharp, A sharp, G sharp, C sharp, B sharp. Oh yeah, B sharp, that's the same as C natural. All right, let's try playing this together. We're gonna to start by playing the first phrase in the original key of C, and just see if you can work the notes out. I'm not gonna put them on the screen, I really want you to use your ears. Now, you can rewind this section as many times as you need to get it right. But remember, we start on the note G and we're just playing that first phrase. So it sounds like this. Should we try it again? Okay, now let's try it in the new key. So remember, we're gonna take all those notes, move them up a half step or a semitone. That means we're starting on the G sharp this time. Let's see if we can do it together. Should we try it one more time? So you can take that process through the rest of the melody and it's a pretty quick and easy way, even using your ear, to move a melody up a half step into a new key. Okay, let's talk about the second method. And I really like this one. This is called the interval method. Now the trick here is identifying which note from a scale each note from the melody is. Sounds complicated, let me explain. So if we look at Happy Birthday in the key of C, if we know that it's in the key of C and our first note is G, well, G is the fifth note of the C major scale, C, D, E, F, G. So now we can go through and number each of the notes. Five, five, six, five, one, seven. <laughs> So let's move it to a new key now and say we move to G major. So we know our first note is the fifth degree of the G major scale. So we've just got to go up our G major scale, G, A, B, C, D, and that's our starting note. Now we apply that pattern number to the new scale. 
five five six five one seven. Now this second method does take a bit more thinking, but it's a great way to move through the circle of fifths with a melody, and that's something our sax school members have been working on this month. Okay, let's try playing that interval method together. So let's start off by playing it in the first key of C major. Here we go. <laughs> Now let's move from C major up to G major. Remember our first note now is going to be a D, okay? Let's see if we can work it out. This is the new key. And again. So which of those methods do you like best? The chromatic method or the interval method? Let me know in a comment down below. It's been pretty interesting to see how our members in Sax School have been tackling this transposing challenge, and we've seen some really great videos inside our membership community of members actually doing this with all sorts of different melodies. Now, the great thing about being inside Sax School membership is you get challenges like this every month, but also you get access to our huge library of thousands of lessons and dozens and dozens of courses. There's over 70 courses in there now. And the other lovely thing is our members can make videos, send them in, and get direct feedback from our whole team of tutors, which is absolutely amazing. And I have to say one of my most favorite things about running Stack School is seeing our members progressing every single month when they're sending their videos in and getting feedback like this. Hey, if you want to try it out yourself as well, the 14-day trial is still running as I'm filming this, so go check it out. There's a link down below. So there's two methods that you can use to start transposing right away. So in your next practice session, have a go at a simple melody and see if you can learn it in a couple of different keys. And if you master that, see if you can do the same thing with a jazz standard, a pop melody, or even your favorite lick from a jazz standard that you've been working on. <laughs>